Hey there, Virgo. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's see what the cards are saying for you guys today. What messages are coming out right now for your highest good? It's going to be for my beautiful sign of Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo, please. Let me get three. Virgo. Illusions. Two more. Love. Temptation. Beginnings. Passion. So, okay. So you got somebody here that's wanting to try to come back here and put you back in these illusions. Abandonment. Okay, somebody that abandoned you, somebody has abandonment issues here. Somebody wants to get you to abandon anything new as well. It's overall energy for Virgo. Let's bring that back out. Overall, thank you. Guilt. So somebody wants to try to guilt trip you back in here. We're releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in our soul's growth, guys, okay? We're not letting anybody try to tempt us back in, okay? you could This could be an energy of somebody trying to bring up, like, old things that you may have done or, you know, things that you did to try to pull you back into that guilty mindset. Don't let them do that. We're releasing anything of that. Lonely. So somebody here was thought you'd be lonely without them. This person very well could be feeling lonely right now because this person's got abandonment issues, and some of you guys could have. And again, I know we've said this in other videos of yours, I've had I have abandonment issues too. That's okay. So this person thought by leaving you by yourself that you would have been wanting them and you're not, okay? But this person truly feels this way about themselves as well. They feel lonely. You know that you're not alone just because you're by yourself here. That's why it's like an energy of somebody here wanting to go around and sleep with other people because they don't know how to be by themselves. They use people to fill a void inside of them. We get one for Virgo. We get one for Virgo. Virgo. Don't be afraid of the shackles to break free from the shackles. So this is you breaking free from anything that tries to bind you. Okay? It's almost like somebody here is like they wish they, they had your strength to do what you're doing here because you, you're not afraid to break free. And if you've had people in the past try to put you in that energy again, you're, you're stepping up and you're taking your power back and you're breaking free. That's good. Hope is rising. So, again, this is about you having the hope and faith, okay? Everything is getting better for you. Everything is rising for you. That's beautiful. And that's why the devil likes to tempt when we are rising up. Get one for Virgo. Virgo. Sociability. I am confident in social settings. My warm-hearted and easygoing nature attracts friends into my life, okay? So something here about getting around new friendship circles, okay? Something about your warm-hearted energy that attracts people towards you, okay? Something about you getting gaining your confidence in a social setting as well. It's almost like somebody didn't want you to have a, the confidence to be out in a social setting, you could have to maybe be like a public speaker or something, something that is requires you to, to be out in a social setting, okay? And something about you breaking that, that fear, okay? And then wisdom. I speak as my higher self. My words uplift, empower, and inspire others. So there's definitely something here where you're speaking, something about your you inspire others, okay? There's something here about um, how your words have an impact, Okay, you, you definitely have this empowering energy here. And when you talk to somebody, the wisdom that you share with other people, it hits home for people. So that's a beautiful gift that you have to share with people, guys. Okay, so people appreciate when they have deep conversations with you. And then we've got excellence. I take pride in what I do. I will go the extra distance to reach my highest potential. I strive for excellence. And that's what you're doing as well. Pushing forward. Okay, taking pride in what you do. Going the extra distance to attain a goal, achieve something for yourself. That's beautiful. You strive for your excellence. It's beautiful. Talk about illusion. Illusion. Queen of Swords. So somebody's wanting to try to talk to you, okay? But you can see through some kind of illusions here. This is about you being more um, head over heart. 
not leading with your heart space, okay? And this could be illusions, could also be with love and for something about your a career, if I keep getting in your read for this, okay? Something about speaking up your wants and needs and not letting people put, put these illusions into you. Because something here about a, a public speaker or being in a social setting where we're not going to let people put you in illusions. Tell me more about illusions. Trusting your intuition here, okay? Okay, because somebody wants to try to come towards you and have a conversation here, but they're not being honest here, okay? So, like, something here about your intuition screaming when this person comes towards you that something's not right here, okay? Somebody's trying to break the silence between the two of you, and this is somebody you've had a major ending with. Somebody here that hurtled you into your transformation for somebody here, okay? Somebody wants to try to tell you that they've changed, Okay, but again, we're going to trust our intuition because this is an illusion maker here. So somebody here that likes to say and do things to try to keep you stuck. Okay, and they, they still want to try to say something to you, try to keep you from moving forward. They see you in this very independent energy. Okay, focused on yourself, self-growth, focused on your structure, stability, the, these goals, whatever they may be. And just you look good while doing it. And somebody is trying to put you in these illusions here. Somebody see that you're getting ready to take off here, okay? So if somebody wants to try to come in here and fill your head with some nonsense because they see that you're getting ready to, to move in a new di direction here for yourself. So somebody will try to might guilt trip you, try to make you feel sad, cry, okay? Because they see you're moving your life on. So this is somebody that's really trying to come in here and lay it on thick and, and put you in these illusions because they see that you're getting out of these choppy, choppy waters and you're taking off. You're, you're not looking back. You broke those shackles that somebody tried to put you in. And, and for some of you, it's more than one area of your life. You broke free from that. Some of you guys could have had dreams of like a past life or something, being tied up to a post or something. That's a side note for somebody here. Tell me about love for Virgo. The lovers. Okay. So this very well could be representing a new soulmate connection coming in here for you with love. Okay. This could also represent that somebody that chose someone else over you and now they're trying to come back here for you as well. Tell me more about love. Tell me more about love. Okay, so if it's a new connection here, this is about taking your time, getting to know somebody here. Don't got to rush into these connections, guys. We got to get to know people because people can wear these masks, okay? So it takes a, a little bit of time to truly get to know somebody. And then for some people that are skilled, trained, liars man they could still pull the wool over your eyes so we've got to always use our intuition here but i also feel like somebody is going to try to come back from the past and try to keep you stuck after they chose someone else over you and now they want to try to come back and prevent you from going towards new so you're definitely in this independent energy right now okay so if you are talking to somebody new take your time when you're going into these new connections here because you may have people want to rush you because it's almost like you they people find you as a catch and when they they get in your in your energy they want to lock you down real quick okay and you're like in this free spirit energy so it's almost like you're you're not focused on love right now so therefore you're going to attract more love towards you that's that's a thing so somebody here wants to try to make you sad somebody tries trying to make you feel bad for for not wanting them anymore and then somebody is going to be sad when they find out that there's somebody new here now okay so those tables turn man Tell me about temptations. So you dealt with somebody that has some temptations here. Addictions. The moon. And somebody is still trying to figure out how to come in here and tempt you back in. And somebody is still entertaining these, these temptations. They still, they're not being honest here. Tell me more about temptation. Oh yeah, somebody is trying to build with you, but I feel like somebody is still doing this with someone else. Okay. Something about somebody wanting to tempt you into a work collaboration, too, I keep getting for this message, okay? So make sure that you're trusting, trusting who this person are, people are. Even new love connections here. Make sure people are who they say they are, guys, okay? Because like you're in a very, like, a magnetic energy right now. You're attracting a lot of tension towards you right now, okay? So somebody here is stressing, worrying, overthinking things when it comes to you, okay? Because you know the truth about something here. Somebody knows it's not going to be very easy to try to tempt you back in. And somebody sees you celebrating yourself, that's that social gathering here, okay? So somebody wants to try to reconcile here with you and try to tempt you back by saying they want marriage or something, okay?
okay? And something here about contracts with, with work I keep getting for this read. Something about making sure people are who they say they are. All right, different read for this for you guys today. Tell me about uh, these beginnings. So you've got new beginnings coming in here for you. Tell me about the beginnings. Oh, that wanted to come in reverse. So somebody here doesn't want you to move forward with your life. Somebody doesn't want you to have wish fulfillments here. I don't like that. Tell me more about the beginning. Somebody is going to try to lure you back in, and they haven't healed, guys, okay? they This one's not doing good. Tell me more about new beginnings. Is somebody wishing bad on you? That's the truth, man. That is the truth. So somebody's wishing bad on your new beginnings, okay? And you've got the clarity that you needed to as well for something here. And then something... Something that is not what it seems to be with your your work, your your finances. Something's not what it seems to be. Somebody's not being honest about that. I keep getting that for you guys. Okay. So, new beginnings when it comes to social groups. Okay. You got the past trying to reconcile here with you. Victory, success for these new beginnings here. Okay. Something about contracts I keep getting here. Contracts being signed. Okay. And somebody trying to get a new beginning here with you, whether there's marriage or no marriage involved. And the tower is like a major shift, a major change coming in with these new beginnings here. And this is about you taking inspired action toward these new beginnings. And then this is like a player energy trying to come back here for you. And I'm telling you, there's some kind of conflict that somebody is trying to create for these new beginnings with you as well. Tell me about passion for Virgo. Tell me about passion for Virgo. Passion. Bring that back out. Passion. Tell me about passion for Virgo. Emperor. Somebody's not changed, guys, okay? Somebody likes to use passion to try to overrule and control you, okay? So, tell me more about that. Passion. Somebody's pissed off that you have this passion spark to go towards other things and want better for yourself. And then, yeah, you got somebody that's trying to come back and bring something back, trying to reconcile with you. But, man, this person's not changing, guys. This is somebody that's been strategizing, and this is somebody here that is trying to, you know, figure out how to get back into your good graces. This is like, I feel like you've been moving in silence with this past person. This, they don't know what you're doing, and now this person is still up to no good. Deception, strategizing, trying to figure out how to get you back into this relationship with them. And then I feel like this person is sneaking behind people's back still. If they went towards other people, they they still doing the same thing. You're not missing out on anything. You started focusing on yourself and pr improving yourself, okay? Wanting better for yourself here. And then if you are talking to a new person, oh, th this past person wants to try to get in the way of that too. So I'm getting scenari different scenarios on that. So stressing, overthinking things. Somebody is trapped in, in their head. Somebody wants to try to trap you in your head and over analyzing things. And somebody is trying to figure out how to reconcile here. And then somebody is definitely still sharing their passions with third party energy. God, Lee, we got a lot of different messages for you guys. Tell you about abandonment. So got abandonment. See, they abandon and then they sit there and think that you're going to be waiting on them. Okay. That's part of your growth and healing is you seeing this for what it is if you suffer from abandonment issues and no longer letting people put you in that energy of waiting on them to do better, okay? When we, when somebody doesn't want to validate you or see your side of something, man, we got to cut them out and let them go. And then you got to go within and start reflecting and ask yourself, where is that wound and that, that, that issue coming from? It stems from some kind of a, you know, some kind of hurt that you dealt with whether it was childhood or your your early teenage years but that's where you start assessing the problem there tell me more about abandonment four of cups so again not letting people let us down anymore okay no longer letting people have the benefit of the doubt in our lives anymore okay seeing things for what it is and just wanting better for ourselves and not taking these offers back anymore looking at things differently Okay, shifting your perspective, having that enlightenment, realizing that things got to change. And there's definitely something here about a past childhood hurt, something from your childhood, being having abandonment issues from your childhood. This person's obviously got some abandonment issues as well, but they've got to fix that themselves here. And then you've leveled up because this is about you knowing your worth. Could be a mother. Somebody could have mother wounds from abandonment issues for somebody here. Okay, or father issues. But this is about you knowing your worth now. 
attracting all these beautiful things towards you now because you you know your worth and you're working through these issues which is beautiful that's how we grow as people guys so this person's trying to figure out how to get a new beginning here with you but again you've done too much healing here or you still could be doing the healing work we're always growing and improving as people guys so yeah you've done a lot of healing since this person's been out of your life and now you've been focusing on yourself okay your self-improvements your growth you've been uh, planting seeds to materialize here with your finances and now you've got somebody trying to come back here and reach out to you and i feel like you've got good news coming to you with your finances here whatever you've seed you've been sowing good news coming in okay passes one to try to come in here and send you a little flirty message okay so this is again an energy of somebody taking off and abandoning abandoning you whether there's a marriage or no marriage involved and something about a, a house setting growing up here okay working through those issues and then your justice is here, okay? Because your life is getting ready to take off with these new beginnings. It's because you started doing the inner work and you're you're moving through that. That's what we're supposed to do. And then you've got somebody here that wants to try to come back here and make something right with you after they've done took off and abandoned you. I've got air, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Earth, Cancer, Pisces, Earth, Aquarius, air, Aries, Scorpio, fire, water, Pisces, air, Libra, Taurus, and water, so working through the abandonment issues, not letting these people come back with these masks on, okay? This is not you hiding yourself either. Just being your true authentic self, you don't have to wear a mask. This person is trying to figure out how to come back in with a mask on to get you back. This is somebody that thought they had you stuck in limbo and you're not. You're over here happy. Your happiness is making this person feel in limbo right now. Virgo, fake flexing. This is somebody that acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. Anybody that sits there and talks about the money that they've got or they show off, they ain't got nothing. It's the ones that don't, that do have things. They ain't, they ain't gonna be showing what they got because people will take it. Tell me more. So you're moving on, and that's why someone wants to try to put you back in illusions. Somebody's looking for some comments. Trying to see who you're talking to. Fishing for comments. Somebody's crying over you. Sad, hurt, upset. So somebody's definitely upset over you right now. Tell me more. Okay, you're the queen rising. Stepping into your power. Praised. In the spotlight. Getting accolades. Is somebody here about you getting some money from somebody. So you could be getting money from something here about your finances. I keep getting these social settings, these group, public speakers. Getting money. That's that queen rising energy here. Tell me more. And somebody here does not like that you're rejecting them. You told somebody that you've had enough. You're done. Okay. Now that somebody's trying to figure out how to get you back in this, this energy of having love on the brain. Dreaming. Fantasizing about them. They want to get you nostalgic here. Okay. Because they're in this energy of wanting you back. But you're over it. You're focused on your, your rising energy here. Tell me more. Let me get another one. Thank you. Oh, this is somebody here that could have said that you had a bad reputation, okay? Okay, so just be your true authentic self, okay? People are always going to gossip and try to slander our names. We don't lower our vibration to, to try to, you know, get people to see our worth. That's part of working on those abandonment issues. You don't need anybody to see your worth. You know your worth. You validate yourself, okay? So this, their true character will... That they'll be seen for who they are, okay? Let them be who they want to be. You be who you want to be. And there you are, jackpot. Winning money, inheritance, unexpected money. So you definitely got some good things headed for you. And then you got somebody here that wants to be like you, impersonate you. This person could try to they like copy you, an impersonator. A happiness hater. So somebody hates on your happiness. Some of you guys could be traveling or you're going to be traveling because somebody's meant to be talking in social groups. So definitely some traveling energy for somebody here. Virgo. So coming clean. Somebody wants to confess something to you now. Try to put you back in that heart fogged energy. Block your emotions, okay? Give you these mixed signals. Somebody that ran from you. This is what this person, they still doing it. They ghost and then they try to reappear in your life. And now you're running away from them and now they want to try to get you to open your heart back up, okay? They want you to be receptive to their love now. And this one's definitely spying and keeping a close eye on you. 
This is someone here that's stressed out that you're no longer stressed out. Okay, this is somebody that's not doing good. They're, they're having a lot of turbulence in their life and they're trying to figure out how to get a second chance with you. They see your opportunities and ooh, this person's bitter. Resentment, anger, hurtful words. Okay, this is somebody here that does not know how to be on their own. They follow the cloud, the cloud. They follow the crowd. Third party energies, they've got attachments to them. Okay, and they still do. And this is about you going in new directions and, and going towards these new beginnings and not letting this person pull you down in that resentful energy because they clearly are. We get one for Virgo. 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 Get one for Virgo. Virgo. One day when you least expect it, you are going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart and you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe you chose to believe it deserved that you, you chose to believe that you deserve more. So yeah, because there's better things to come, not this person. We are always speaking to you and sending you messages when you feel like you are alone in a situation. Just know that you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around, and believe in something else, something more. We've got your back. So you got they got your back. Keep breaking free from anything that tries to keep you stuck and bound. And you definitely got some new beginnings lining up here for you. So don't let this person come back here and fill your head with illusions, okay? All right, my beautiful Virgo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back in a few days. We'll do it all over again, guys. Sending you guys so much light and love. See you guys later.